Anything you could tell me about the Walkers? Not really. Just a couple of newlyweds trying to figure it out. Well, marriage is hard. I'll never know. Oh, don't think that way. I'm sure there's someone out there for you. Oh, no, that's not the problem. I just don't want to waste this on just one guy. Sorry we're late. Someone couldn't decide on a hat. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Hi, I'm Mary Cooper. I'm going to be doing your session today. Oh, what happened to Pastor Jeff? He's out sick and asked me to fill in. Oh, okay. But don't worry. You're in good hands. I've been married for 15 years, and whatever you're going through, I'm sure I've been through it several times. Francine, I dig your hat. <coughs> So when we first started dating, he would plan these elaborate picnics by the leg. You know, like a real picnic with the red and white blanket. Oh, gingham, sweetie. It's called gingham. Yeah. And after you got married, all the picnics and wooing ended? No, no, not at all, no. In fact, Elliot's more doting than ever. He knows that tulips are my favorite, so every week there's a fresh cut bouquet on my nightstand. I own the flower shop across from the post office. Well, you all seem hunky-dory. I'm confused. What's the issue? Well, um, we're having trouble in the, you know, the bedroom. Oh. Sheldon, what are you doing here? They wouldn't let me use the phone in the principal's office. Who are you calling? Dr. Sturgis. It's a math emergency. Don't you think you should ask my permission first? It's ringing, yes or no. You know what? I don't care. Dr. Sturgis, this is Sheldon. You're wrong, and I can prove it. Is that so? It is so. All right, little man. Bring it on. Go ahead, Sheldon. I'm all ears. Well, when I'm done, you're going to be all tears. Okay, fellas, let's keep it civil. You claim that the only way to calculate the magnetic field in QCD units is using Maxwell's equations, but you're completely discrediting energy density. But you're still off. By a factor of 3.54, which would seem insignificant, but when examined closely, you realize that it's the square root of 4 times pi. Your point being? Rationalized and non-rationalized units differ by 4 times pi. Anyone with a basic knowledge of electric and magnetic fields would know that. I'm lost. Are we still being civil? It's all right, Connie. Sheldon's trying to justify his shortcut. Not a shortcut, a more elegant and efficient method to achieve the correct answer. Well, I applaud the effort, young man. Don't treat me like a child, treat me like a colleague. Fine. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. How could you say that? <laughs> what are you doing? Treating him like a colleague. Do you and your colleagues make each other run out of the room crying like that? Sometimes, but we run slower, because we're old. 